it's still the I mean, wild west back then. Yeah. Do you guys miss doing the whole like blowing with the? <laughs> in the whole... Miss it, just... miss it. That's all we do with the story. Yeah, you me? I just, I just did it today. I just did it today, man. <laughs> 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 we actually have to tell people when they buy original Nintendos about that if they've never had one. And yeah. we have to remind some people like, look, this was a little bit of, you know, a little bit shaky 30 years ago. You can imagine now it might take some effort to get this to work. Yeah. Like we actually have to, we, we go so far as to open up all the systems and clean them and bo we boil the pins, the, oh, the wow. receiving pins. <laughs> yeah. So just because we don't want our customers to have a bad experience because too many people were when we first opened we were getting too many people frustrated like oh man i can't get the game to work i'm like okay i know this sounds crazy we have to blow in it you have to wiggle it around a little bit yeah yeah, yeah people just didn't understand it's the whole process that. and then you, then you hit the <laughs> wall <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> that's yeah. awesome it's a whole ritual man it's a whole ritual behind mm -hmm. that. You know? and it's so exciting when that game actually comes on you're like yes mm-hmm Yep. It's like, I did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all yeah. It's an accomplishment, for sure. For sure. These kids have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted, one more thing before I forget. Another influence on kids that are into this stuff, I think, is that in the past you know, five years, so many modern games have taken that indie route where they develop games to look like 16-bit games. They so do. the younger kids are totally used to that graphic style mm -hmm. now. Which is great because I don't know. Ten years ago, I think almost any kid would have looked at sixteen bit and been like, "Ew, like what is this?" Yeah, I'm wondering if, let's say, because I know a lot of Xbox developers do it. I wonder if they, if Nintendo or somebody slid some of the old games in there, would anybody reckon, realize that it's old? You know, that is that is hysterical. I wonder. Five dollar purse, like oh, this new indie company and it's really one of the old ones they just re-released it on a new console <laughs> i mean i mean there, there's about 700 nes games they're even more unlicensed so i'm sure right. that they could do it and like you said some that really didn't take hold in the u.s back in the day might actually work now yeah yeah would they yeah i think so i mean it's that old saying everything old is new and i think it takes about 20 years like every 20 years you basically just recycle what was popular 20 years ago yep. which makes sense to me i yep. think that's what's happening with the games i can agree with that yeah now, let, me, let me ask you guys this question especially you chris because you got the you got the capabilities if there was a video game vintage game tournament that you could hold where people could play multiple different types of games all to win like a grand prize of money or whatever. What games <laughs> would you choose? I guess if it was like four or five games, what games okay. would you choose to hold in a competitive gaming tournament style? So we will definitely do stuff like this at the shop once COVID calms down. Um, <laughs> I think whatever do we'll try and keep it in the vein of a fun thing you know not a super serious thing mm -hmm. um i think the, the the most obvious choice you guys can probably guess is melee super smash brothers melee Are you guys familiar with that game Absolutely. yeah everybody exactly and it's still extremely popular at the store and it's still extremely popular in tournaments right it's just yeah. it's just the game it's just the one even though ultimate's so good you know it's just melee would be definitely one and then you've got you know your, your golden eye is another one i think people could play um because you know and that's you know there's there's ways to cheese that game you play odd job or something but like yeah. you know i'm sure you could it's it, it we would do it at the store for fun right yeah uh, i think a game like black ops to me i didn't play a lot of black ops i i just sort of was in the wrong age for it but like the guys that work at the shop you know they grew up on black ops and black mm -hmm. ops 2 and they just love it so i think that that would be and you know that's a debate of like is that actually a retro game at this point like you know how old are those games right the, the 360 yeah. came out in 2006 is that actually retro i don't know yeah it's hard to say it's hard to say like yeah i don't know what don't is know. retro game is there an age for retro games i'm guessing if it's not new it's retro then right yeah i kind of feel like if it's several generations old yeah 
Yeah. But there's no official definition, really. I mean, retro as a as a word doesn't even mean the way that we use it. It's sort of changing now to mean something new. I mean, retro is is meant to emulate something old, not actually be that thing. That's true. So, but now in popular culture, retro is just sort of known as that that popular thing that used to be popular. So. Yeah. Ooh. I feel like. As far as gaming, anything retro would have to be PS2 back. I think. I like. I, yeah, I agree. I think anything that's like two gen, two system generations behind, yeah. like we're on PS5 right now, you know, PS4, PS3, like yeah, like. Around PS2, PS3, like you're that that's like vintage. Like, how how far do we have to go back to where we say these graphics are disgusting? Like, <laughs> like, like how many systems ago? Like let's say Bushido Blade. I used to play that a lot. Yeah. Disgusting now. Yeah. Like <laughs> PS1 is the, was the system I was gonna name. The PS1 looks pretty rough in a lot of places. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. It can be pretty bad if, you know... And, and the go. PS2 can be pretty good. Right, right. True. So I agree with you about retro. Yeah. There are a lot of people that think that PS2 is not even a retro system, but yeah, I, it's just totally open to interpretation, I suppose. But I think <laughs> the one other game maybe for the multiplayer tournament would be like Mario Kart 64. I think it would be pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, Mario Kart, hands down. Mario Kart, oh, definitely. I thought you were going to say Mario Party. But oh yeah, yeah people. Definitely. I mean, Mario Party would be fun too. I mean, Mario Party falls more in line. Like, we want to do like some fun, like social events at the store where you know you come in and play Mario Party, or you come in and play, uh, you know, uh, Pilot Wing sixty four, and you see you can get the best score, you know, on the right. like, using the jetpack or whatever. So that's, uh, that's like sort of a different type of thing than a tournament, more of like a social social type of gathering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mario Kart is just dope. Always, everybody, loves always. Mario. What was Mario that? Kart. What was the? Uh, there was a racing game where it was like multiple. It was kind of like a Smash Brothers, but racing, where they took characters from different games and put them in one really? place. Yeah, because I think it had like Banjo and Kazooie and just all these different characters just racing each other, and you could have like a hang glider or a hovercraft. Are you thinking of Diddy Kong Racing? Probably. Yeah, that's yeah, one of the yeah, vehicles, yeah. yeah. Some Maybe. people think that game is better than Mario Kart. I mean, they're crazy, of course, but there are it was, people it was that definitely, think that. It was innovative. It was fun. It was oh, innovative. yeah, it was great. It was a great game. It was definitely innovative. It wasn't better. <laughs> I don't know. You yeah. know what? I think Mario Kart started trying to do what they did more recently. Because I think Mario Kart even has... Yeah, Mario you're Kart. right. Mario Kart 8 started to do a lot of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So they were ahead of their time, man. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they kind of were. some real talk get you some information to the streets okay, no, no crazy feedback no crazy